size issue. You guys head down um, a couple of blocks from the Kitacon shop. There is a open smithy that um, is very, very populated. Um, you notice that most of the people who are gathered around here are guards. And you can see that a lot of people that are, are standing around waiting and talking and stuff are definitely people that look like they don't have to handle themselves. Um, basically, everyone who's gathered around are either probably guards or... Military in some... Military in some form or fashion. You know, if they're not official guards of the city, they're probably house guards or bodyguards or you know, they, they go with a merchant train or something like that. Or um, running cops or something. Right. So you, there's, there's a lot of, of, of talk and chatter and stuff. And you can see that um, uh, working inside is an incredibly broad Talikma who's holding a hammer and kind of working away. And there's, there's a ring kind of, of, of... Huh? What kind of thing? It's a croc. Yeah. And there are a ring of anvils of different varying sizes around. And the croc is this kind of like, his whole body is in the oh, rhythm of, of striking the, the metal that he's working on. You see that the, the shop looks like it's built to be around this one workstation. Mm -hmm. All the different little other anvils and stuff, they have other people there. The, he is the main event. And right behind him is a forge that is very, very hot. Um, see, listen here, Emily. Listen. That's the rhythm. He's That's he's rhythm. slamming away. Samuel looks like I am I am hearing. It's to the so, rhythm of the night. Ding ding. And working away. Um. Mm -hmm. So you guys you guys walk up. Yeah. Um. Bring out the what is what it's called? Uh, preservation shield. shield. Preservation shield. Bring okay. out the preservation shield. Uh. I think at some point I had put some. Uh, Black. Uh, covered paint. it with some like crude. Yeah. Paint or something. It's uh, white paint. White paint. Yeah, it's white. I thought he had black. So, no, it was white. It's white paint. <coughs> I remember it was white. So. Uh, I'll wait for a break in the in the rhythm or just hey! to acknowledge. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> in between the hammers. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Dink! Hey! Hey! Um, he, he's, Dink! She, hey, I should say. Dink! You can now hey, notice that listen. this 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 croc is probably too big to be a male. Uh -huh. Um, kind of pauses for a second between one of the things, takes a thing, and you can see the, the cover of the, the scimitar that, he, that she's working on. She takes it and then slides it along the edge of the barrel, and you can see little sparks come from it. You see that the rim around the outside of the barrel is crim. And takes it, shh, quenches it, turns around and puts it back in the fire. And closes the, the latch on the furnace to where basically there's a tiny sliver of red light and the, 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 the blade of the scimitar with no handle on it sticking out of the furnace. Looks over towards you and goes, mm, What do you need? He wants his shield fixed. What? <laughs> eloquent, eloquent, eloquent. The so shield we face kind of puts, puts a point down, spins it. Um, I got it from a friend, it comes from a place. The place he comes from, he no longer, no longer expects, and I never have. I would like the face changed. Okay. The croc kind of takes the shield, sticks on it, pulls up the, 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 the put had put down the hammer before, hmm. pulls up the hammer, and then spins it. You see that it's a very broad, you can't imagine what a, like a dwarven mallet looks like. Uh -huh. That's what they're working on, and you can see the bottom of it has a bunch of smaller he hammer heads. <laughs> So basically, this one hammer has six different sizes of hammerhead on it, and depending on how he, sh how she strikes the, mm. the anvil, it hits it with a different hammerhead. And she takes it and uh, puts it to her mouth. Okay. Watch for the enchantment. Ah, yes. Blows in the middle of it, and you see it looks like there's a coal on the inside of the, the hammerhead that is glows bright, and you see that it's a little piece of Nambian. Hmm. Takes it and strikes the side of it, and all of the the, the dirt and grime and paint and everything just falls off of it. You see, there's a couple of bendings around the edge where you know, you've had to rely on it, or you've just beaten it up over the time that you've had hmm. it. Just as the magic kind of glistens over top of it, repairs the shield. Oh. Was, mm, to learn that trick for twenty. <laughs> and it takes the thing and says, "What? What do you want it to look like?" And what are you paying? Well, I can pay its worth. However, what I would like it to look like. I made a design. I see. Not like that. Ah, oh, nice. 
Is that what you want your, your crack hammer to look like as well? Okay. Four-headed hammer. Mm, yes. Kind of. Are you? How are you going to explain this? Are you going? Do you actually draw it up um, to give it to him, or will you? Or just pull your hand yeah, out I'll and show pull it? Pull my um, the the journal. <coughs> I, I, would, I would have it drawn there. Okay. Um, this design straight down the middle. Uh, so you're going to uh, just show pyramid. the design, but not show him the hammer. Well, I can't draw the hammer, can I? I mean, the hammer is covered with the, the gaudy thing, but the shape right. we could probably get if you. I'll show him the design. Okay. So, looks at the design, mm. looks over, it's an interesting hammer. Yes. Kind of sees and works with it and says, I'm, I'm not much for them. this type of work. I'll give it to one of them, but I can strengthen it a bit. And starts hammering away on it. Um, says, so, as for payment, and you see him kind of, or see her kind of glance over her shoulder and see the, the, the furnace getting quite hot and the, tips of the metal was starting to, to, or the part of the hilt that's sticking out is starting to glow a little bit. And he goes, so as far as payment, I'd be interested to know a bit about this hammer. I trade for a story. I have a good story for it. Uh, story maybe, but only if the story lets me find out where this hammer is. These, where it is. Cheese. It's yeah. with me. Hmm. Kind of like, looks over your shoulder and sees the hammer. So, kind of takes it. I have been told I can't draw inside the suit. I'll pay for your peace bond if you'll let me see the hammer. So, takes a thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice Zorro flourish! <laughs> yeah, it's good. Just... Brandish. <laughs> Kind of holds so, it up. Like lightning in the background. Anime it's reveal. <laughs> um, <laughs> the blacksmiths all swim. <laughs> uh, looks like the blacksmiths that are all, all on the side are really paying attention to the work. They're all doing, you know, a miscellaneous different thing. Well, this is important for what's going to happen. He kind of looks at it and goes, mm. grabs the, the scimitar, pulls it out, and the whole length of it is just red hot. Takes it over and sits it on one of the, like, takes a big step away, sits it on one of the other workstations, goes, Silpa, work on this! And then steps back, and then goes, ah. Takes the hammer, spins it around, and slams it. I mean, you can see all the muscles on her body clench up as she gives it a huge, heavy slam. And the hammer, the, the head vibrates a little bit, but mm. the hilt itself stays perfectly fine. And you can see that her other arm is oh. straining to be able to hold it up as she right. took it from your hand. And she goes, ah, excellent work. Indeed. And kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you know, her arm is obviously like bending with the weight of the, the hammer and gives it back to you. Yeah, um, give it a flip. Yeah. Um, He's strong. Strong and blessed. And takes the thing and strikes the shield again. Um, she looks over and says, so you carry two shields, do you use both of them? Yes, and of course. Just slams onto it. Okay. Kind of hold them both at the same time. Okay. And, says, ah, ah. and you'd prefer each of them as their own thing instead of both with one. You can combine them. They Takes are, the hammer and flips it. They are awkward. I can. <laughs> <laughs> That would be very useful. Yeah, so so she, are we about to see the, the first time a Taligma and a Guar get into into a relationship? <laughs> so she takes she takes the other shield from you. Says, unfortunately, this is gonna ease up a bit of the magic of my hammer. This will be more expensive than just a refinishing. How much more expensive? And takes the hammer, flips it, kind of taps it along the rim a couple times. And goes, uh, fifty gold. Combine them into the same shield. Easily done. Okay. She, just bring that on my she, she she takes the thing. I think I have that one. <laughs> my pocket somewhere. She she <laughs> takes <laughs> both of the shields. She's walking around money for us. She now. she like, opens up and she has two little latches on the sides of the furnace. She pops them open and opens it up to being kind of much bigger size than the little slit where she was using the uh, sword through. It takes both of them and lays them inside of the furnace and shuts the door and says, "Wow, we wait for that to heat." I'm interested in the story of yours. 
<laughs> and she kind of takes another piece of scrap metal and starts just slam board. slamming into it. Um, so, if you want to explain Give the, the story. Uh, slightly self-aggrandizing version of the actual <laughs> events. Okay. Um, now, you guys can see, now that you've been here for a little while, this person has what is, what is equivalent of, from you know, other people's perspective, as masterwork weapons. Um, she has plus three, basically several plus three items, and tons of plus two weapons and armor that are so spread around the store. Pretty good, so, good level stuff. Yeah. Um, the best little blacksmith. Right. So, um, this blacksmith is, is very, very wealthy, very well off. Um, if I, uh, I'll go through some magic item books and look at common items and see if I, there's anything I would pick up from this shop at some point. But I, I would probably shop here for okay. stuff. Now, if you if you guys have anything specifically that you want to get that's not common, um, basically they can craft you an uncommon thing. If you can explain to them what you want it to do, basically if you look up the uncommon item and go, oh, this is really cool then you can get it, but the chances of just being in the city are fairly rare. But the, mo the <clears throat> between Kirikan shop and uh, the, the Talikma shop, they're going to have what they need in order to get, every, uh, get whatever you need for plus three or below. Okay. Um, as far as payment for it, the, the payment for it is going to be the price that you would spend um, if you bought it from a normal shop. So. So, okay. that's what's going on. Did you have anything you wanted to, to do in, in the I'll shop? I'll look for a pretty axe. Okay, so uh, floating around and you see Toy getting a little awkwardly close to the fire sometimes, and you notice a couple of eyes get big as the wooden marionette goes and stands <laughs> next to the furnace. And doesn't incinerate. In, in right, <laughs> and doesn't seem bothered by it at all. Toy um, has resist by fire. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> That's, that's nice. The, the most stuttering. terrifying wooden no, marionette ever. Say, that, that's nice. So, It'll nicely balance out her vulnerable 15. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what, what weapon do you have right now? Executioner's axe. Uh, what, what, do you, is there an enchantment for it? Or? Um, it has the head rending execution axe. Okay. Um, What's the enhancement bonus on it? Plus two to attack rolls and damage rolls. Plus two. So plus two. Um, as you're looking around, seeing the different different things, um, the 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 large croc notices that you're paying attention to different things, and notices your eyes kind of gl glaze over the lower quality axes, as you've you've watched people fight enough and you know how the magic feels right as you're looking around, and as she's watching, it goes ah. Seems like you're, as you're, this is the middle of your story, seems like your sprite friend has a good eye for craftsmanship. As basically he pays, ten, she pays attention to what items you slow at looking over. She is a <clears throat> first crafts person herself, as you can see. Okay. Mm. You see the, the tall one kind of lean over and, uh... Tell you Yes, the Talima lean over and slam her foot into the side of her uh, anvil and mutter a couple of words and slam the head of the hammer against the bottom of the anvil. And you see a slot open up in the floor with a handle sticking out of it very light, very slightly. And you see the, the Talima as she's you know still listening to the story, still working on this rough piece of metal, re lean down with the other hand and pull out a huge executioner's axe. Hmm. <laughs> And it says, a minute. Is that, that's pretty. Isn't it, though? <laughs> um, basically, says, you seem to have an eye for crafts work, and kind of leans it up against the side of her thing. I have those in case anyone gets a little too greedy in my shop. <laughs> Can I have someone one? Someone a fool. Um, <laughs> I can part with one of them and remake it. These are... My pride and work. I'd like to see that they go to good use. Don't oh, trust <laughs> us. And we'll give it will see you good Toy and likes to dance. Because, hmm. Well, it's not dancing I'm concerned with. It's hacking and hewing. That, hey, that is dancing. She kind of makes herself get her full size. And she, you, both of you are kind of awkwardly small for the building. Mm. 
Um, even though it's very open, it's just the roof is not really designed for people that are your height. Mm. She raises her voice and says, I'll offer a month's free repairs to anyone that'll show this... What is your thing's name? Toy. Toy! Uh, show this toy a good fight. I want to see that she can use this axe and spins it. I was going to say that the Gorg's over there laughing his ass off. <laughs> He's like, see, so I never got to that part of the story. Are you actually in character them? laughing that hard? <laughs> yeah, you could have warned them that that's a really stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, and, you know, the Gorg hadn't gotten to that part of the story yet. <laughs> a couple a couple of people in the, a couple of the guards speak up. Oh, you the very of... is in the story. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, basically, talking, hey, uh, uh, we, they basically call back, hey, will you pay for the peace bond as well? Because obviously if they're going to be fighting, they're breaking the peace bond. Of course, of course. I want to see a good show while I what, take the piece of metal that's working on and kind of tosses it down. It's not working away. Ah, oh, and notices the shields are now very hot. As I finish working these out and then pulls the shields out of the fire, you notice that she just barehanded grabbed some metal from a furnace? No gloves. I was going to ask at one point. laid it down. No, gl- no um, gloves. You, can, you smell the very slight smell of, like, of uh, burning, and you notice that she's grabbing stuff only with her claw tips. Huh. So you see that the claws are really mangled and blackened looking, but she's so, not burning her hands. So this is kind of like the equivalent of an old cook who just grabbed the pans out of the fire. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, Yeah, for analysis! <laughs> right? Scar did you! Crazy so, place grandma. down. And you notice that a lot of the, that several people do volunteer to, uh, to work over toy for, for him. For right. Her. Uh, I'll filter the weeklies out because they're just going to get hurt. <laughs> um, you notice it's that uh, probably half a dozen people take the challenge, and of the half a dozen people, the, the half a dozen of them are going to get their asses handed to them. <laughs> um, none of them look like they're... None of them have magical weapons. They don't look like they're... Toy understands things. Master... Story. Name? What? The, the like Talikma's name? Yes. Um... Uh, Nesema. Nesema is my house name. Master you, Nesema. You see the, the carvings of, of, a, of a house on her, her hide on the side. These will just get hurt. Nesema. Nesema. N-A-S-E-M-A. Um, May want to remind Toy it is not to the death. Um... He, she looks, looks like back at you and says, that toy can put up a half as good a fight as you say. Well, uh, remember the, tell you my first Remember name. in the story, the, the, the being made of blades? She cut one of those in half. Hmm. She raises her voice back that up. That was fun. Sees someone who's Wasn't kind of <laughs> lingering in the back of the shop and goes, ah, so uh, if the honor of... <clears throat> of uh, House Teresian can rely on anyone. <laughs> and you see him kind of like, one of the guys who's sitting in the back is a uh, warrant. Um, he kind of like takes a step forward and goes, oh no, I'm not being fooled into this again. <laughs> and he goes, oh, he's gotten his ass kicked for her. Not being, not being fooled into a year's worth of free repairs? <laughs> All right. You don't even have to win, Re- Reaches his hand back into a pocket and pulls out uh, a claw. Basically, the oh, he's a, one of the claw. You see, pulls out a very large claw. He has a, a thing that goes all the way down his back that definitely looks like there's no way in hell it's big enough to hold that claw. Mm, magic. So you can see that it's yeah, it's magically a uh, magic sheath. Pulls it out um, and takes a step forward. This guy. His name wouldn't happen to be like, Wolverine, would it? No. <laughs> Um, you can tell gone. this guy definitely looks like he can handle himself. Um, you like you'll be, f- you look like you'll be fun. Okay, so you guys take a little the moment outside. Um, now I'm going to leave it up to you whether you would like for this to be a brief blow by blow encounter, which means it'll be you roll, I roll, you roll, I roll, and then we just go back and forth real quickly since it's taps and not kills. Yeah. Or if you want to do it as um, a skill challenge, it's up to you. I do skill challenge. Skill challenge. All right, so um, the guy takes a step forward, makes a little bit of an awkward bow, and everyone else starts to all the little guard, all the guards start gathering around, and you know you see more than a few uh, 
little packages of chips chains. Okay. <laughs> 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 Say they're fat speed boys. <laughs> Oh, poor Jack is not here. <laughs> Shit, I'm not there. Um, oh my god. You'd work one half the crowd, um, I'd work the other half. You know, <laughs> oh my god, miss I'm anybody. Really yeah. That's basically, Sam, Christ, you're my uh, brother from another mother. Ring and, uh, Which eventually that question's going to stand up. Step, 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 step out of pace with the cry hammer. What? Hey, hey, Chunkus. Mm. Alright. I'm not supposed to kill him, right? No killing, no blood. No right. blood? Side, side of the blade. Just no ancient blood? blessing. I can. I well, can maybe do just blood without killing. <laughs> we don't want to get kicked out here. Mm. All right. We we Remind don't want to have so to call Huey in. Right. This is for the pretty acts. If, if if you kill him, they won't let us have it. Okay. <laughs> Man, you handle her quite well. <laughs> That's why I said her with Chuck. All right. So give me <laughs> like, an no. initiative roll. Real quick. An initiative roll? Yes, please. I shouldn't use the one that I've already... Oh, that's right. You guys already have. Well, I mean, that's... Sure, sure we can go ahead and do that. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> give me an initiative roll. No modifier. He tied you. Nine. Eight. So you win. Uh, Alright, so... Takes the blade out. Oh. Does his little awkward bow. Gets into a fighting stance. And notice... Like, the exchange between... No, you're not allowed to make him bleed. And he kind of <laughs> smiles and... Gets into a bit of a deep shot. Like, oh, you gotta hit me first. <laughs> <laughs> so. Athletics. Uh, yeah. So, which, what's your, what's your first skill you're gonna launch? And tell me, basically, what I want you to do, rather than pick a skill and then do it, mm -hmm. describe to me what you're doing. Like, what, what is your goal? What are you trying to go for? I mean, is this just run up, overhead swing, try to get, get beat him with speed? Or are you trying to kind of knock him off? So how are you doing it? How's, how's the stance? Is this a slow dance? Is it a fast dance? It's a fast dance at first. The time time. All right. Is this so, a break dance or a square dance? <laughs> so this will be, um, let's do opposed athletics checks. So we both do athletics checks. Okay. Um, you've got initiative, so you've got a plus three. <laughs> Probably going to beat him. Which 18 are... plus 17. Yeah, definitely got initiative. <laughs> so he's, he's kind of sitting there and kind of... And then as you got, you take a step forward, he five. totally was not prepared for the very awkward kind of spinning movement of, of the toy. And it does move like a dancer and flows right past his defenses and knocks his hand away as he kind of tries, clashes a little bit too late with his claw. He takes a, a step back and the crowd kind of, ah, ah, and they start, more bets start taking place. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Can I be in the area? Here we, here um, he is. I've kind of just been keeping track of the ticks. So, yeah. so that's yeah. that's one I'm win sure for you would hear, hey, there's something going down at the Yeah, at the I, thing. I figured one, I would hear there's something going down, yeah, and there's two, probably there's a, a lot, lot of guards of... hearing there's something yeah. going down. Uh, I would definitely be showing I, up in the area. Maybe need to borrow someone's skills. Yeah. I, I'm going to try and work my way uh, through the crowd, crowd enough so to see what's going on. Yeah, watch, steps back and forth. You see him kind of smile for a second, and then he digs real low, and he launches his whole body straight at you. There's Dodging this is going to be nearly impossible. You're probably going to have to parry, but you can choose to do either way. What are you doing? He's launching straight into your body like he's going to ram you. Like a body check. Mm. Yeah. Probably a parry. Parry? So give me an opposed strength check. Since he's initiating, he's got his charge, I'm going to give him a plus one. Oh. Uh, 14. 14. Is that, is that your check, or is that your... Check. Check. Okay. So, I'm going to give him... Uh, he didn't roll too good either, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> he tied you, so I need... With no modifiers this time. He rolled a 2. You <laughs> rolled 19. So he kind of slams his body into you, and kind of pushes you back. You but see no Toy kind of get off balance a little bit. And then just spring back and push him back. Um, and then as he's tapping away, take the weapon, just lightly tap him on the shoulder. And he... I didn't make him bleed! You see a but bunch of could, people right? <laughs> start cheering. <laughs> You're up. So, Toy had two points? Yeah. Toy's, Toy's got two. Okay. Um, now two I'm going to try and intimidate him. Okay. <laughs> so, what are you trying to do when you're doing Because, again, tell me an action and then let's, let's yeah. build from there. Um... 
I'm basically, big swing. yeah, big gonna swing, gonna run straight cut, at cut him. Cut it short, see if he flinches. <laughs> and go straight for something that would kill him, but I'm not actually going to, because Chunk has told me not to. Okay. And at the same time, scream, I'm gonna get you! Ecclesics! <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. Um, go to go, you swing. And you see, like, spin, 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 block, block, and then you he kind of notices you're going forward, and you see he's paying a lot of attention to the way you're swinging that axe. And as you swing forward, he takes the back of his claw and then taps it very lightly. You stop the blade right near his neck, and you see that he moved the claw in the way so he could have blocked it, but he saw you were going to stop it and just smiles back at you. And then he takes the thing and rakes it down and hits you in the hand with his claw. Mm. So, one point for him. Okay. Um... Now that he's got the, the, the claw on top of your weapon, he's going to try to grab you and hold on to you and try to basically hammer you into the ground. As he takes a step forward, you hear him mutter a word. Um, you recognize it as the sprite word for shield. As a little spinning shield disc comes onto it, a buckler comes onto his thing, and he tries to slam the buckler into your shoulder and hit you into the ground. Huh. What is your reaction? Don't do that. <laughs> And I'll swing the axe at his shield. Okay, so he's here's here's the the, the is that possible from this you gotta do you want me to be the axe? Uh, actually, be easier. Sean wouldn't mind since he's close. So you are have the weapon out like this, or let's do it like this, and he's got the claw. This claw is here, and he's got that shield, and he's gonna slam it down this way. Like so that? if you block with your weapon, it's gonna be really awkward. Okay. Or too late. Might be to tumble back Stop, away. I'm, it's up to you. Probably spin away. Okay. So um, he is going to do uh, basically the equivalent of a melee basic attack. So this is going to be a grapple type thing. Give me a hard DC acrobatics check. Or sorry, a medium DC acrobatics check. So it's going to be DC 17. Yes. Okay. So 19. you get um, a plus two to AC for this. He is swinging in at Are you in a stance plus, plus 14. I'm in my defensive stance. Okay. Um, so it's going to be 23 What's versus my plus? plus 2. It doesn't hit me. Or it doesn't hit me. Does not hit me. Miss. Miss. Doesn't, so miss. 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 Okay. Yes. So he takes a thing in, and you see the toy just sort of like just fold in on itself and then just flourish back. Um, as he kind of like over adjusts to slam into you, he leaves his back completely open. Ha ha! Tap. How hard are you going to hit him? I'm just going to tap. Okay. Actually, it's going to be a little bit more than a tap because she's a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I got excited. <laughs> well, as long as it's not a spider. So he, he so takes it back. It'll, it'll like split the skin, but not. Well, he, he's wearing armor, so. Yeah. Oh, it, it's it'll gonna, it's it'll, it'll cut his tabard, um, but it's not going to oh. actually hurt him. I've. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> he, can't, he kind of takes a step back. It's your turn. So he's, he's now kind of overbalanced, and he's kind of blocking, basically pulling the shield as much in front of himself as possible. So is she, she's in front of him? Yeah. Yeah, you're basically back in your stance, and he's kind of a little off. He's, yeah, he's, he's hungered down a little bit. I want to do something to try to get behind him again. Okay. So what are you going to try to do to get behind him? Are you going to try to get a blows and then spin around him? Or are you going to jump over him? I'm like, jump over. Want to jump over him? Yes. All right. Complete flip. <laughs> so give me a, um, uh, an athletic check. Uh, on hard DC, you can get behind him. Mm -hmm. And he is going to try to swing at you when you come over. So he's at... 25. Uh, it's going to be, a again, a, a 23 versus AC. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Or, well... Since I don't have the plus two anymore. Hey, which, what'd you get? You got a 25? 25, yeah. Which is, I think, hard DC. Hard DC on. So you go to jump over top of him. You get your plus two to defenses for his, his swing. And you flip over top of him. He goes to spear up at you and just completely, completely miss. misses. Like, he still cannot actually change his mind to the fact that this toy is moving way faster than he thinks it should. <laughs> he takes this thing and swing up. And she, your toy does a perfect front flip and slashes right in the same spot in his back that you cut before. And now it's a line that goes halfway up his back on that cut. You hear lots of people, yeah! And he kind of takes a step back and goes, ah. And the, the 
the Talikma that's in the, uh, that's mean, making the shield, to. um, lets out a, a big roar and says, ah, that's four points, boy. That's a loss by anyone's count. Yep. I was going to say, oh. she got four points. He had one. Yep. <laughs> so the shield challenge is over. So we're done. Success. Definitely done. I get my axe. Um, you see the, the, <laughs> the Talikma take the thing. He's, uh, she's only gotten about half of the shield actually melded together. Takes it, puts it back in the fire to heat, or scrapes it along the barrel for a second, douses it, puts it back into the fire to heat, and it says, oh, you've definitely won an axe. Takes it and spins it and basically just chucks it across the room at you. Um, luckily, no one wanted to be in her way while she was watching this, so no one's standing between you, you and her. You kind of get the impression that she would not have thrown it any other way if there had been someone in front of her. Um, Heads up, motherfuckers! You would, you would have been an idiot to be between her and the fight. <laughs> so you now have a plus three reaping axe. Sweet Jesus! That sounds, from you Christ. Actually, that sounds... it might. I'm not sure if it's called reaping or reapers axe, but you get the effect. Okay. Um, so what does that do, that card? Yes, yeah. I'll have to get that for you. Not even an axe user, and I got awesome. a lady boner for that thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you kind of see it, it is really well made. Um, and is it, on, it is very pretty. On the top of it, or in the, the center piece of it, where the, the two sides meet, um, is a very elaborate symbol. Um, and I've already forgot my brain's not functioning well. Uh, the, the symbol on it is uh, a coin, and then you see behind it are a bunch of other coins that are all like of different types all lined together. And at first it looks like a, it looks like a symbol that's on the axe. But then when you actually see it, it looks like the bunch of the coins, it's coins from different places around the world, have been melted together into the, the, the nice. face of the axe. Um, My grandmother had a coaster that was a mold of a whole bunch of different coins from your vial mellowed together. Yeah, that's so effectively what's on both sides of the axe. Nice. Um, and then you see a little like uh, cracked line on the, the thing that looks like it's very purposefully there. Um, Either one, of, well, you would have no way of knowing, but streetwise check from you to see if you actually you could have seen it before. So give me a perception for you, and streetwise for you. Street, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that is a twelve. Thirty-one. <laughs> okay. So you definitely have seen the symbol before as you've been walking she around town. She does perceive it, but you're not really sure what it means. What was the twelve? Twelve. No. So, you, you, you know what the symbol, you know that you've seen the symbol before, don't really know what it means. I've seen this before, what is it? He goes, ah, the symbol of my house. The Sema is the, the house name, and that's the house sign. What, what, what does it mean? He goes, money upon money upon money. <laughs> Merchants. <laughs> okay. We like money. Quite, quite defined for a... She did tell you she would tell you a Master Blaise with you are quite defined for a house of merchants. He <laughs> goes, ah, not just the house of merchants. We we hail from the port of Blades, where everyone needs to use their weapons appropriately for any kind of deal. Um, she gives you a big, toothy grin, and she hasn't really opened her mouth very far while she's been talking until this point, and now you can see that she has several back teeth... Oh, gold. ...that are gold. <laughs> yeah. Um... And she has the big grin, and a lot of her other teeth are in no kind of good condition. Um, you know, guy, from being around the city, most everyone here has really nice teeth, because the magicians can pop in and fix it. Not her. Her, her mouth looks like that intentionally. Um, is the only way that that can happen. Mm -hmm. I've uh, been in lots of fights. And says, uh, my name is Chancellor Anama. Pleasure to meet you. And kind of bows her head a little bit. Chancellor? Ooh. That sounds fancy. Chancellor Anama? Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus Christ, she's, thought, she's uh, the head of the house, isn't she? The yeah. Well, the Sima is the name of the house. Uh, Anama, her name is Anama Nasser. She's the Anama. head of the house, isn't she? First Chancellor's head of the house. Yeah. Um, she's, this she is basically like the second, second in command. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's even scarier. Yeah, because Cause the head of the house usually won't get their hands nearly as dirty as the second in command. <laughs> I was going to say, and also, the second in command is always looking to move up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being number two is a rough place. <laughs> um, you number see a couple of the, the soldiers are kind of 
uh, talking to themselves, laughing about kind of what's been going on, and you know, lots of the bets mm -hmm. finish trading hands. Um, so that's what happens on the other down down the street a little bit. So I got a pretty. Any, anything else you guys want to do with the shop? Again, if it's... Uh, she'll finish up the shield today, basically. Yeah, she'll finish up the shield while you guys are still there talking. Okay. Um, basically, the amount of... It's going to take her roughly an hour mm -hmm. to finish the shield. And then you guys will be done. 